There's a strong correlation between cardiovascular disease and diabetes. In fact, the American Heart Association considers diabetes to be the major controllable risk factor for cardiovascular disease. What is the number one kill in this country? Vascular disease. One of the biggest culprits for vascular disease is long-term diabetes. Adults with diabetes are two to four times more likely to have heart disease than other people without diabetes. In addition to knowing and monitoring their blood pressure and cholesterol levels, another test is recommended to reduce their heart disease risk. I tell them they need a test called a hemoglobin A1C, and that tells you not just what your sugar is that day, but what it's been for the last three months. The A1C test measures your glucose or blood sugar over time. The test result gives a measure of how well your body has controlled the amount of sugar in the blood over the past two to three months. Research shows the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and death rises with higher levels of A1C, and even a small decrease can reduce your risk of heart disease. You can have a normal fasting sugar, meaning under 100, but your hemoglobin A1C will be elevated. Between 5.7 and 6.4, you're considered pre-diabetic, and you should know that number. The American Diabetes Association recommends people who are meeting treatment goals and have stable blood glucose levels have the A1C test twice a year. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.